account? No. Cash register? No. I hear I give a what? Kettle. Kettle? Yes. Kettle starts with a K, you loser. My turn. I spy with my little eye. I've seen it all now. What? <laughs> a what you may call it machine. A what? A what you may call it machine for them yokes. Them yokes? Yeah. Where? Where do you think? The jacks. Yeah. I, I thought that was chewing gum. Loser! <laughs> Oh, you didn't try an eight one, huh? No, no. A yoke machine? Yes. Here? Yes. That's your whole use them. Anybody who wants to. None of my business. What about Father Philip? If he puts in his three euro like everybody else, he can work away. No, what'll he say? What am I, a mind reader? I got it for the Valentine's Day. People get awful frisky this time of year. Someone's trying to get frisky with Timmy. Is that right, Tim? He got a card. A Valentine's card? What did it say? Roses are red. Violets are blue. I love you. What do you think of that? Oh, that is good. Who's it from? A secret admirer. His mother. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy got a car too. Oh, what did it say, Jimmy? <laughs> That's only old card, Valentine's Day. Made up the florists. Not true. There was a real St. Valentine's. Isn't that right, Dan? Oh, you're on the ball there, Jimmy. What was his story again? Well, it all started with a Roman emperor, small little gutty fellow by the name of Claudius II. When was he around then? After Claudius I, anyway, Jaxie. Well, the bold Claudius and a couple of the lads went out of an evening pillaging a village. And didn't your man Claudius spot that the fellows who weren't married took to the pillaging better than fellows who were? Why was that then? I don't know, Jaxie. I suppose the fellows who were married were nagged so much the fight was gone out of them. Well, after that, he banned marriage. Merciful God. What happened next? Well, along came a saint. Saint Valentine? Saint Valentine, who set up a business marrying soldiers on the QT, but didn't the bold Claudius get wind of it, and he had him stabbed in the catacombs. Go away. Well, if there's a show worse than the Black and Tans, it's them Roman emperors. It doesn't stop at that. Oh, I love this place. He tells this lovely. After your man Valentine died, didn't the Pope give him a leg up and made him patron saint of... How's your father's? How's your father? Love, romance, all that sort of old thing. Our Valentine's Day is a load of old cod. It's a plot by florists, car shops and chocolate people. Chocolate people? How do you know what I mean? Is that what you think? It is what I think. Well, did it ever occur to you that it might be the only one day of the year that single people get a chance for a bit of old... How's your father? Speaking of how's your father, did you see this? Nicker, nicker, not nicked, yes. What's that about? I'll tell you what that's about. It's more of that Valentine's Day card. It's worse than a full moon. There's a fella running around stealing knickers above Rat Muff. Rat Muff? Isn't that near here? Tis. I oh, hear Jaxie. Read out some of them ads again. These are a howl. Oh, sort of God, wouldn't you leave it alone? Here's one. Full love and widow, 83. No teeth, some hair. WLTM. Huh? Would like to meet. Would like to meet lively lad, 70 plus, for one last fling. Sense of humor, desirable. Desirable. <laughs> Essentially be more like it. <laughs> Fit, solvent, clean widower. 60s, but looks 35. Has 12 acres and a massive rod. Stuart album collection. Seeks female any age, anywhere. But preferably between 18 and 25 in Ballyhorna. How do you wish? This is a great one. Kill the scully flutes. Distinguished cultured gent, not bad looking, fifties, with flute in excellent condition. Seeks lady who likes to fiddle about. If you're fed up playing by yourself, let's get together and make some sweet music. <laughs> <laughs> What's a lude or putting an ad like that? Make sweet music. <laughs> the right flute of the ass me. Here, I'm after strange buds. The way it is, bud. God bless the work. Oh, your father. Patrick, the very man. You know everything about horses, don't you? I do, father. Have you ever shooed a horse? No, father. I well, once told a donkey to feck off. Uh, no, no, not that kind of shoeing. I meant sort of, uh, sort of. All right, don't worry about it. Do you want that for Valentine's Day, father? Uh, uh, no, no, I won't, thanks. Box of chocolates for herself, Brandon. 
No, no. Right, your brother. Read another one. That was the last one. We might as well do with the cross one. A romantic saint or love letter. V A L something N something something N E. Romantic saint. Our love letter. Nine letters beginning with V A L. Val Kilmer. No, it is an E. Welcome to the Gazette Lonely Heart Line. To begin listening to the ads, press one. To move to the next ad, press two. To repeat an ad, press three. To repeat all ads, press four. Give us another one. Pertaining to church matters. How many letters? Fourteen. Gee, that's a big one. Religiousy. No. I taught ecumenical myself, but it's too short. Ecumenicalistic. There's no such word. Luder. To reply to an ad, press 8. To reply to all ads, press 9. To review the reply you recorded, press 10. To re-record your reply, Mother press God. 11. How many letters? 14, I said. God bless the work. Father, pertaining to church matters, 14 letters. Oh, um. E ecumenical? No. To hear replies to an ad you placed in the Gazette, press 17. About second time. Please enter your eight digit PIN number. Ah, fish! Ecclesiastical. Ecclesiastical. Ecclesiastical, that's a powerful word. Will it fit? Oh, there's 14 letters in that, I'm sure you'll find. Uh, how, how do you spell that, Father? E? Mm -hmm. You have one reply to your ad. To hear your reply, press hash. What in the name of God? Uh, E? C? E? C C L E S I A S T I C A L. There you are. Good man, Timmy. You know, Timmy is like purgatory. Not many people believe in him, but he's there all the same. Spell that again, Tim. E C C. Hash. The hash key is the one below the nine. Why didn't you fickin' say so? To access your voicemail, please state your Lonely Heart username. Mother of God. That is not the correct username. To access your voicemail, please state your Lonely Heart username. Kill the Scully flute. I'm sorry, I did not hear your reply. Kill the Scully flute! Uh, yeah, the five reach way on that, yeah, kill the scully flute, the 315 in Punchestown. It's about this machine. What machine? Yeah, the one in the toilet. The oak machine? Yes, that one. Doesn't take notes, Father, but I can get you changed. No, check, see. You know where the church stands in these matters. I suppose I read something about it, all right. Well, the thing is, Jack, see, I don't know if you've heard, but the bishop is threatening to send me on a retreat with nuns. Is that right, Father? Yeah, he says I should be more proactive on moral issues. Whatever that means. Anyway, under the circumstances, I have to be seen to, you know, get stuck in. I'm not following you, Father. It would be remiss of me not to register some sort of protest. Well, I suppose so. Right, well, um, I formally protest. About what? About the whatchamacallit machine. The Yorks machine? Yes. Grand. I can't stand idly by and watch these devices just flying across the parish. I don't think they actually fly, Father. You know what I mean, Jaxie. My name is, um, Female Fiddler. I read your ad in the Gazette about making sweet music. 
If your flute is up for a good lively session, I'll be at the bus stop in Killinescully at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Oh, all right, yeah. So the time at, at the beep yes. will be 13... One. 58 to 35. Right, thanks, yeah. Talk and clock me ass. They're slow. <laughs> How are you, Mick? There's nothing to worry about in that score, Father. Why not? The machine is empty. Empty? Yes. But I've seen fellas pumping money into us. Yes, but have you seen anything coming out? No. Well, then. Yeah, yeah, but... Uh, the way it is, Father, anybody from around here that puts money in is too embarrassed to ask for their money back. There's a hundred percent pure profit. Oh, so there's there's no actual, you know, you know what? None whatsoever. Oh, no, that's a relief. Good man. <laughs> Can I go back to work now, Father? Go on, go on. Two million? The lotto. It's in the paper. Two million on Valentine's night. That's fair money. What would you do with two million, Jaxie? Holiday homes. I'd bid a scat with them around Kinder Scully. What about you, Dan? Lasha? You can keep your fake in, Lasha. Should look what the doll have done to me. <laughs> flowers! Chocolates, flowers, chocolates. Flowers. What can I get you, missus? What do you have, Pa? I have lovely chocolates there for himself. Or flowers, fresh ones, straight out of the ground. I'm looking for something special. Well, no, you can't go far wrong with them county agents. No, Pa. Something special. Fair enough, ma'am. Follow me. Ah, girls, if you're not going to buy them, put them down. Are the batteries included, Pa? Should I told you yesterday the batteries are included? Never. <laughs> if you break it, you're going to have to pay for it. <laughs> Right, both around the villages have got them things in. <laughs> what can I do for you, ma'am? I'm looking for something to wear, Pa. I'm shifting a lot of these, ma'am. I'll take it. I'm planning on doing some shifting myself. <laughs> bingo, is it? I beg your pardon? You're off to bingo, is it? No. Lovely. Here she comes. A scully flute? Female fiddler? Mother of God. Your message said early forties. And your ad, Mr. Glancy, said not bad looking. I must admit this is not what I was expecting. <laughs> Me neither. I'm not in the habit of repeating myself. But this is not what I was expecting at all. I didn't know you had a flute. I have, ma'am. Well, how come we've never seen it before? <laughs> right, I'm off. Where do you think you're going? Down to Jaxie's. And what about this sweet music you were on about? Well, I thought you'd gone off the idea at this stage. I'm not in the habit of repeating myself, Mr. Glancy, but I'm also not in the habit of passing up the chance of a good session, especially at my age. Come on. Where are we after? My house. Right. Well, we're hardly going to do it at the side of the road like hippies, are we? No. Besides, Sissy Cullen said she might drop in. Sissy Cullen? Oh, she's a great crack. Mother of God. Jaxie, the very man. Father, you coming in? Uh, no, I'm Grand Jaxie. I was wondering if you could have a quick word. Oh, you, Father. Uh, hello, Sergeant. Hello. Hello, Father. Hello, Mrs. Miss. Miss. Clancy. Clancy. Hello, Mrs. Collins. Collins. Hello, Mrs. Collins. Yes. What is it, Father? I have a pub to run. Uh, oh, yes. Um, I was thinking about the, uh, the you know what. The what? The you know what's in the machine that we were talking about. Oh, the oaks. <laughs> Yes, the yolks, Jaxie. There aren't many. Yeah, well, you see, that's the thing. 
You're taking money under false pretenses. Anybody can have their money back if they ask for it. Yeah, but it's hardly right. I had no complaints so far. Ah, Jaxie, with the bishop breathing down my neck, I cannot be seen to be soft on this sort of thing. What sort of thing? This blatant dishonesty. That is hardly dishonest, Father. Ah, come on, Jaxie. It's not exactly honest either. If I was to go across the street now and tell Sergeant O'Toole about this, I'm sure he'd be very interested. He would. Oh, he would. <laughs> he supplies the machine, he gets half the money. God Almighty, is there one decent, honest person left around here? Are you talking about the village now, or do you mean the surrounding area? You know where the church stands in these matters. And it would be remiss of me, you know, not to make some sort of protest. Grand. So you'll take care of it? I will. Come on, Jesse. Dick, Father Philip said we're to put yokes in that machine. What's that? Father Philip says you've to put Johnny's in the machine. Right you are, Father. Hello, Dick. Are you there? Over. Excuse me, ladies. Go ahead, gather round. The chief wants to know how we're fixed for catching the knicker snatcher tonight. Over. Give a grand. We've guards in from Ratmuff and from Bally who are saturated. If any criminal lays a hand on a pair of knickers tonight, I'll take them down. You can rest easy, ladies. Your knickers will be quite safe in my hands tonight. Good luck, girls. There's crime to be solved here. I have to say, I'm worried about him. Me too. He's gone out of here since two. It's half eight now. That's at least... a long time. It's a record for him. He forgot his keys. He was in such a hurry. I'll have a G&T, Jaxie. Right, Jax. How's Nurse Maloney? Grand, Jimmy, thanks. Hey, Timmy, there's Nurse Maloney now. I know. Hello, Timmy. Hello. I heard the postman was busy this morning. I hear he's busy every morning. Did you get anything? In the post this morning? No. You got a card. A card? Isn't that lovely? What sort of a card? A Valentine's card. Is that right, Timmy? No. Have you brought your instrument, Mr. Clancy? Yes, ma'am. I have my box. I haven't seen a proper flute since Robert died. Mind you, the last few years he hardly took it out at all. It's still at the bottom of the wardrobe somewhere. Really? But when he took it out, Mr. Clancy, what? He couldn't do it. Is that so? I am not in the habit of repeating myself, Mr. Clancy. But when that man took out his flute, what he couldn't do with it. The sessions we used to have in the parlour here with the neighbours coming in. Some of them working away at their instruments. Others just looking. And me fiddling away in the corner. Haven't I right? So hours of pleasure, Mr. Clancy. I'll tell you this. There's nothing like a good session. No. And the older you get, the more you appreciate it. Hours of pleasure we used to give to each other, Mr. Clancy. And we will again, sissy. Now that Mr. Clancy is with us. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Can you, Mr. Clancy? No. Will we get stashed? Will we? We'll get our coat from a coat. I have to warn you, Mr. Clancy. I haven't done this in a long time. My fingering mightn't be the best. I'm sure it'll be glad, ma'am. We'll be back in a while. And who might that Valentine's card be from? Don't know. A secret admirer. Ooh! And who might that be, I wonder? Don't know. And what was on the front of the card? A nurse. A nurse? Isn't that a coincidence? What with me being a nurse and everything? I suppose so. Roses are red. Violets are blue. I love you. What do you think of that? Do you know who it's from now, Timmy? No. It's from me! 
That'll be four euros seventy when you're ready, Timmy. <laughs> I don't know what kind of players you took us for, Mr. Clancy, but I'll tell you this. You'll be playing on your own. Oh, the pleasure we could have had. Oh. Yes. I sure, who use them? Anybody who wants to. None of my business. What about Father Philip? If he puts in his three euro like everybody else, he can work away. No, what'll he say? What am I, a mind reader? I got it for the Valentine's Day. People get awful frisky this time of year. Someone's trying to get frisky with Timmy. Is that right, Tim? He got a card. A Valentine's card? What did it say? Roses are red, violets are blue, I love you. What do you think of that? Oh, that is good. Who's it from? A secret admirer. His mother. <laughs> Jimmy got a car too. Oh, what did it say, Jimmy? Bah. <laughs> That's only old card, Valentine's Day. Made up be florists. Not true. There was a real St. Valentine. Isn't that right, Dan? Oh, you're on the bar. Tis. Oh, here, Jaxie. Read out some of them ads again. These are a howl. Oh, sorry. God, wouldn't you leave it alone? Here's one. Full love and widow, 83. No teeth, some hair. W-L-T-M. Huh? Would like to meet. Would like to meet. Lively lad, 70 plus, for one last fling. Sense of humor, desirable. Desirable. <laughs> Essentially be more like it. <laughs> Fit, solvent, clean widower. 60s, but looks 35. Has 12 acres and a massive rod. Stuart album collection. Seeks female, any age, anywhere. But preferably between 18 and 25 in Ballyhorn. How do you wish? Well, there, Jimmy. What was his story again? Well, it all started with a Roman emperor, small little gutty fellow by the name of Claudius II. When was he around then? After Claudius I, anyway, Jaxley. Well, the bold Claudius and a couple of the lads went out of an evening pillaging a village. And didn't your man Claudius spot that the fellows who weren't married took to the pillaging better than the fellows who were? Why was that then? I don't know, Jaxley. I suppose the fellows who were married were nags so much the fight was gone out of them. Well, after that, he banned marriage. Merciful God. What happened next? Well, along came a saint. Saint Valentine? Saint Valentine, who set up a business marrying soldiers on the QT, but didn't the bold Claudius get wind of it, and he had him stabbed in the catacombs. Go away. Well, if there's a show worse than the Black and Tans, it's them Roman emperors. It doesn't stop at that. What? I love this place. He tells this lovely. After your man Valentine died, didn't the Pope give him a leg up and made him patron saint of... How's your father? How's your father? Love, romance, all that sort of old thing. Our Valentine's Day is a load of old cod. It's a plot by florists, cart shops and chocolate people. Chocolate people? Well, you know what I mean. Is that what you think? It is what I think. Well, did it ever occur to you that it might be the only one day of the year that single people get a chance for a bit of old... How's your father? Speaking of how's your father, did you see this? Nicker, nicker, not nicked yet. What's that about? I'll tell you what that's about. It's more of that Valentine's Day cut. It's worse than a full moon. There's a fella running around stealing knickers above that muff. That muff? Isn't that near here? Count. No. Cash register. No. Uh, here I give up. What? Kettle. Kettle? Yes. Kettle starts with a K, you loser. My turn. I spy with my little eye. I've seen it all now. What? A what you may call it machine. A what? A what you may call it machine for them yorks. Them yorks? Yeah. Where? Where do you think? The jacks. Yeah. I, I thought that was chewing gum. Loser! <laughs> You didn't try an eight one, huh? Oh, no, no. A York machine? Yes. Here.